legislation proposed in New York to try to address gun violence. And this week, as the legislative session winds down, gun legislation remains a top priority for some lawmakers at the Capitol. News 10's Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine now with an update with very little time left to get something done. On Tuesday, 10 gun bills were introduced in the New York State Legislature, among them legislation to require a permit to buy a semi-automatic rifle that would raise the age from 18 to 21 to buy that kind of weapon. I asked Republican Assembly Leader Will Barkley to share his thoughts on the bill. I want to see the bill, I want to conference it uh, before making an opinion on it, but uh, I think we have to be open to anything, but we really want to look at solutions that are going to be a solution and not just political rhetoric that people like to hear. New York State has some of the toughest gun laws in the country. Governor Kathy Hochul saying, quote, as New York once again leads, we continue to urge the federal government to seize this opportunity and pass meaningful national gun violence prevention laws. During her visit to Albany, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik said while she does not support gun control, she does support more resources for mental health. It was Republicans who passed and signed into law $1 billion of funding to go towards training guidance counselors in schools to harden our school districts. We need to increase school resource officers and make sure that we're working with our county sheriffs to protect our schools that are most vulnerable. I do not support gun control. I stand up for the, the constitutional rights of law-abiding citizens, but there is work that we need to do, and that is increasing mental health funding and increasing those resources for school resource officers. When it comes to the state gun legislation that was recently introduced, a vote is expected to be held on Thursday, the last day of session. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.